2020 was a bumper year for gaming, and 2021 is most likely going to follow in its footsteps. Generally, the year right after the launch of new consoles tends to be a slow one as far as major new releases are concerned, but it looks like the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S are looking to hit the ground running. At the same time, the PS4 and Xbox One still have plenty of life left in them, while the Nintendo Switch of course shows no signs of slowing down either. Here, we're going to talk about 30 games that have been officially confirmed to be released in 2021 that we cannot wait to get our hands on. Given how many games have been confirmed for this year, we will invariably have missed out on some, so if there are any upcoming releases you're looking forward to but do not see in this feature, make sure to mention them in the comments. Also, remember that we've only listed games that have been officially confirmed as 2021 releases by their publishers or developers. So even if a game is more than a little likely to release this year, if it hasn't been officially confirmed as a 2021 game, you will not see it on this list. Back for Blood Left 4 Dead has been gone for a long time, and there's no telling when Valve will decide to bring the beloved franchise back. But in the meantime, it's looking like we might get the next best thing to fill the void very soon. Back for Blood is promising to deliver similar high-octane co-op zombie-killing action, and being developed by a team led by the creators of Left 4 Dead, it also seems to be up to the task of doing that in satisfying fashion. We certainly have our eye on this one. Back for Blood is out on June 22nd for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. The Medium Bloober Team have been one of the most prolific horror developers in the industry in recent years, but with the medium, they're looking to deliver their most ambitious game to date. With its unique dual-reality gameplay, it's looking to be the kind of experience that, if the developers pull it off properly, could be a legitimately genre benchmark. The medium is coming to Xbox Series X and S and PC on January 28th. Deathloop Given Arkane's track record, it's hard not to be excited about another one of their games. Deathloop is looking simultaneously like and completely unlike anything that they've made in the past. A combination of stealth, parkour, FPS combat, and time loop shenanigans is promising to come together in what's looking like a very unique game, and one that we cannot wait to dive into. Deathloop will be released for PS5 and PC on May 21st. Psychonauts 2 the long-awaited sequel to the cult classic Psychonauts is almost here. After many years of development, a couple of delays, and a combination of crowdfunding and Microsoft money, Psychonauts 2 is promising psychic action and platforming and trippy storytelling that looks to improve upon its top-notch predecessor. Psychonauts 2 has no specific launch date within 2021 yet, but it will be coming to Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Outriders the looter shooter genre is an overcrowded one to say the very least, and we're at a point where every new upcoming release in the space is being met with widespread skepticism. People Can Fly's upcoming third-person shooter RPG Outriders is definitely in that boat as well, but we're curious to see how it turns out. With its focus on flashy abilities, emphasis on storytelling, and the developer's insistence on not being a live-service title, it certainly seems to be making the right promises. Following its recent delay, Outriders is due out on April 1st for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. A Stadia release is also confirmed for this year. Mass Effect Legendary Edition Fans have been begging for a remaster of the original Mass Effect trilogy for a long time now, and after years of demand and more than a few leaks, Bioware and EA finally revealed Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Combining all three games and all of their DLC and putting a new coat of polish on them, this one looks like a definite winner, unless things go very, very wrong, which we really hope they do not. Mass Effect Legendary Edition releases in spring for PS4, Xbox One, and PC, and will be playable via backward compatibility with targeted enhancements on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart since the moment Insomniac and Sony unveiled it, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart has been one of our most highly anticipated upcoming PS5 titles. Its interdimensional portals promise to show off the potential of the next-gen SSDs like no other game we've seen so far. On top of that, with stunning visuals, chaotic action, and platforming, and that trademark Ratchet & Clank charm, it's legitimately looking like one of 2021's biggest games. Insomniac have said that the game will launch in the PS5's launch window, which really could mean whatever Sony wants it to. Hopefully, it's no more than a few months away. Shadow Warrior 3 
The first two Shadow Warrior games might not be mainstream blockbuster hits, but those who have played them will tell you that Shadow Warrior 3 is definitely a game to keep an eye on. It's looking to make things slicker and even bloodier with both shooting and melee combat, while new movement options are promising to make the traversal that much more kinetic. The game will launch sometime this year exclusively for PC. Gran Turismo 7 The PS4 generation did not deliver the goods for Gran Turismo fans. Even though Gran Turismo Sport is a great racing sim in its own right, especially with post-launch support, it wasn't quite the next big GT title. Well, that title is coming soon, with Gran Turismo 7 poised to hopefully kick things up a notch for the racing sim space once more. Coming exclusively to PS5, Sony haven't yet given a specific launch date for it, but have confirmed that it's definitely out in 2021. Monster Hunter Rise While PC, Xbox, and PlayStation players have been pouring countless hours into Monster Hunter World, series fans on the Switch have been left waiting on the sidelines. Well, they won't be waiting much longer. Monster Hunter Rise will be the first post-world game in the series coming to the Switch, and it's looking promising. Running on the RE engine, it's going to introduce several new mechanics, including scaling and climbing using the Wirebug, Wyvern riding, and the new Palamute companions. Monster Hunter Rise is out exclusively for the Switch on March 26th. Prince of Persia The Sands of Time Remake Fans have been desperately asking for Prince of Persia to come back for a decade now, and Ubisoft are finally giving in to those demands. The Sands of Time, perhaps the best game in the series, is getting a full-fledged remake, and that's cause for plenty of excitement. There have been some skepticisms regarding the remake's visuals, but if Ubisoft can nail the platforming and puzzle solving, they might have a winner on their hands. Prince of Persia The Sands of Time Remake releases for PS4, Xbox One, and PC on March 18th. Resident Evil Village Resident Evil has been flying high ever since RE7's launch in January 2017, and after two remakes, the series is now finally ready to come out with its next mainline installment. Resident Evil Village will see Ethan Winters coming back and facing all new horrors in a creepy, snowy village with decidedly gothic environments, while series mainstay Chris Redfield is also returning. Given the series' recent track record, Village looks very likely to be yet another excellent survival horror experience. It is out on May 7th for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Horizon Forbidden West Guerrilla Games released probably their best game ever in 2017 with Horizon Zero Dawn, and given its commercial and critical success, a sequel was never really in doubt. The sequel, Horizon Forbidden West, will see Aloy traveling to new locations, finding new mechanical monstrosities, and uncovering new revelations about the history of the post-post-apocalyptic world she lives in. Horizon Forbidden West has been confirmed as a 2021 title and will be releasing for PS5 and PS4. 12 Minutes Coming from solo developer Luis Antonio, 12 Minutes looks like one of the most unique games to be releasing this year. Played from a top-down perspective, it will be set entirely within a single apartment suite. A man and his wife are caught in a 12-minute time loop, in which the man has to relive and ultimately prevent the murder of his wife while uncovering new information in every loop. 12 Minutes will be out sometime this year for Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. Shin Megami Tensei 5 How long have we been waiting for this game? First announced in January 2017, it was among the very first games ever to be confirmed for the Switch, after which it went almost completely radio silent. It resurfaced again last year when Atlas confirmed that Shin Megami Tensei 5 would be releasing sometime in 2021. Very little is known about this game, but given the pedigree and track record of the franchise, it's hard not to be excited. God of War Ragnarok There was obviously never any doubt that a new God of War game would be coming in the near future. We just didn't expect it to come so soon. Sony have shown no gameplay so far, but building on the already excellent God of War 2018 can only result in yet another excellent action-adventure title. Meanwhile, the potential for where the narrative might head next is also very exciting. Will it be delayed? Well, we hope not. For what it's worth, Sony have confirmed a 2021 launch date. Meanwhile, though it will, of course, be coming to PS5, Sony have refused to confirm or deny whether it will also be releasing for the PlayStation 4. Kenna Bridge of Spirits The debut game from indie studio Ember Lab, Kenna Bridge of Spirits was unveiled during the PS5's reveal event, and immediately caught the attention of the masses thanks to its gorgeous visuals and art style. 
The combat promises melee, ranged, and magical action, while the titular protagonist will also be accompanied by little spirit companions known as the Rot. Originally meant as a launch title, the game was delayed not long before release, and is now due out for PS5, PS4, and PC in Q1 of 2021. Returnal With games like Nex Machina and Resogun, Housemark has built a solid reputation for itself over the years, but they're now ready to take things to the next level. Returnal is a full-fledged, narrative-driven, big-budget production, and it's looking really interesting. The third-person shooter will see players stranded on an alien planet and stuck in a time loop, and with psychological horror and roguelike elements, it's shaping up to be quite the blend of genres. Returnal launches exclusively for PlayStation 5 on March 19th. Solar Ash With Hyper Light Drifter, developer Heart Machine definitely caught the attention of many people, and they're going to kick things up a notch with their next game. Solar Ash will see players traveling through a deadly rift that's devouring planets and battling monsters within, while also lost souls within the void find some semblance of solace. With that sort of a premise, it's definitely got our interest peaked. It's coming to PS5, PS4, and PC sometime this year. Guilty Gear Strive Announced almost two years ago, Guilty Gear Strive has been a long time coming, but fighting game connoisseurs Arc System Works are finally ready to unleash the game upon the world. With the promise of a variety of modes, a varied roster of characters, beautiful visuals, and hopefully a framework that can support and foster a competitive community for some time to come, Guilty Gear Strive is looking quite promising. It will launch for the PS5, PS4, and PC on April 9th. Halo Infinite Halo Infinite didn't have the best showing with its grand gameplay reveal last year, but credit where credit is due. Microsoft took the bold decision of delaying their big flagship Xbox launch title by a whole year. With open world elements, it will hopefully inject much needed adrenaline into the campaign, while the multiplayer, which is confirmed to be free to play, has a lot to live up to as well. Halo Infinite will be releasing in fall 2021 for Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 The cult classic Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is getting a sequel. It's still a little hard to believe, but it is happening. Hardsuit Labs Bloodlines 2 is making grand promises, and if it can live up to those promises and deliver an engaging role-playing experience that does justice to its predecessor, it'll be worth keeping an eye on. Recent delays and development troubles have cast some doubt over how well it'll turn out, but we're still cautiously optimistic. It'll be out sometime this year for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. Crossfire X Crossfire has been a popular multiplayer shooter in Asian markets for a long time now, but now it's ready to go global. Smilegate Entertainment are developing the game's free-to-play multiplayer component, but what's got people even more excited is its single-player campaign, which is being developed by Remedy Entertainment. There's several reasons to be excited about both, so here's hoping the game sticks the landing when it launches sometime this year for Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One. Little Nightmares 2 Puzzle platformer Little Nightmares is without a doubt one of the creepiest horror games we've played in recent years, and indie developer Tarzier Studios is ready to dial things up to 11 with the sequel. Little Nightmares 2 features a new protagonist, new locations, and new monstrosities to run for your lives from. And based on everything we've seen so far, fans of the first game will not want to miss this one. It's out on February 11th for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. The Lord of the Rings Gollum A Lord of the Rings game in which you play exclusively as Gollum? Pff, sign us up! Datalik Entertainment have been teasing out bits and pieces of details on this game for some time now, and the more they reveal, the more curious we become about it. In Gollum, it has an inherently fascinating lead character, and with a focus on stealth and parkour, it has the potential to be meaningfully different from what you usually expect a Lord of the Rings game to be. It's out sometime this year for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Ghostwire Tokyo while we would all love nothing more than for Tango Gameworks to make The Evil Within 3, their next game has got us excited for very different reasons. Ghostwire Tokyo isn't necessarily a horror title, but it's definitely got some weird supernatural things going on, and its first-person melee and magic-focused combat is looking to do some new and interesting things. It's out sometime this year for PS5 and PC. No More Heroes 3 
Travis Touchdown was on vacation for a very, very long time, but he's now ready to return to the limelight. No More Heroes 3 will see Travis Touchdown fighting against a veritable alien invasion, and the game promises to deliver the action and ridiculously over-the-top tone and aesthetic that fans of the series fell in love with on the Wii. It will launch sometime this year exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. Near Replicant An upgraded remaster of an alternate version of the first game in the series, Near Replicant is as offbeat and weird as you'd expect a Near game to be. After the success of Automata, experiencing the story of its prequel is undeniably alluring for those who hadn't already done so, while returning fans will undoubtedly be excited about the visual and gameplay upgrades. Near Replicant releases for PS4, Xbox One, and PC on April 23rd. Far Cry 6 Based on everything that Ubisoft have revealed about Far Cry 6 so far, it's hard not to be excited about the game. Set in the fictional island nation of Yara, the game is promising to have the biggest and most dynamic Far Cry sandbox to date, while elements such as the return of a proper voiced protagonist, an antagonist played by the talented Giancarlo Esposito, third-person cutscenes, and the series' first ever large city environment in the open world also have us very excited. Originally due out on February 18th, the game has since been delayed, but is still due out sometime this year. It will be released for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PC, and Stadia. Gotham Knights After multiple teases over the course of a couple of years, Warner Bros. finally unveiled Gotham Knights last year, developed by Arkham Origins developer WB Games Montreal, and things are looking promising. Being an action RPG and having distinct co-op elements to it, it's going to be different from the Arkham games for sure, but with four playable characters, a massive open world to explore, the introduction of the Court of Owls as an antagonist, and the developers promising that this isn't going to be a live-service game, there's plenty of reasons to be excited. Gotham Knights will be releasing sometime in 2021 for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.